Let's get into the big stories of this week with my panel, Kayla Hanna from CPAC Australia and Sky News contributor, Daisy Cousins. Welcome to you both. It's such a joy to have you here. Now, there are reports today that Nationals leader in the federal parliament, David Littleproud, is on borrowed time with Barnaby Joyce or Keith Pitt looming as potential hovering replacements. Unnamed sources say he lets Peter Dutton dominate him and that he is rude to colleagues and staff. Here's what David Littleproud said this morning. We're all on borrowed time in politics. Don't worry about that, no matter your political party. Uh, look, a couple of bruised egos. Um, look, it's the, it's the quest of the party room. That's all, all in the beltway. Um, obviously, Parliament House, is, there's differing opinions on a number of things, and I don't get caught up in those types of things at all. He's got a point. We are kind of all on borrowed time. But, Kayla, should the Nationals be looking to move on or should they stick with what they've got? Well, look, Amanda, I think the Nationals represent regional Queensland and the majority of regional Queensland, you know, they want to feel that they're, they're heard. And, and uh, right now, I think with net zero, uh, Little Proud isn't hearing them. So I'm all for a party reshuffle. If you get someone in that top job who's going to represent those regions, um, which means no to net zero. Mm -hmm. Good point. Daisy, Barnaby Joyce or Keith Pitt being floated as replacements? Do you like the sound of either of those? Well, look, uh, let's be real. Of all the leaders that deserved to be bumped from the top of their parties at the last election, Barnaby Joyce was not one of them, given the uh, consistency of, of the Nationals' results. It was outrageous that he was turfed in the first place. And I think the only reason he was was because certain people within the Nationals got it into their heads that the little loveys in the teal seats just couldn't couldn't stand Barnaby because he was just too into coal and was dragging the vote down, etc., etc. So it was ridiculous that he got bumped in the the first place. Um, so Barnaby obviously would be a great option. He's a tried and true leader. Keith Pitt, look, I hear he's a big advocate of nuclear power. That is also very, very good. But I would be extremely happy um, if David Littleproud were turfed. Um, you know, you, given the current climate in uh, Parliament at the moment, you really can't go around being rude to your colleagues. Um, so we shall see what happens. But um, I'd be very happy with Barnaby or Keith Pitt. Well, look, I can honestly say for all of his imperfections, Barnaby was a very effective communicator with ordinary Australians and yeah. that can't be underestimated. Um, David Littleproud isn't the only leader who is feeling some factional heat turning against him. Bill Shorten and Richard Miles are apparently being pushed to the outer in Victoria as the socialist left faction under Dan Andrews began flexing their muscles at the latest Labor conference. Daisy... A more left-wing Labor? Is this even possible? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, apparently so. I mean, I didn't realise that the, the right of Labor actually had as much influence as they did until now we've seen this kind of flip in numbers with the socialist left um, consuming nearly half of the party. I mean, Anthony Albanese will be laughing. He'll be thrilled at this, even though, remember, when, before he was elected, he said, he what did he say he wanted to govern, like, you know, Keating or, or Hawke or Howard, was it? I mean, for goodness sake, it really is terrifying, um, Amanda. It doesn't surprise me, though, I mean, if we think back to earlier this year when Jim Chalmers, the Treasurer, wrote that very strange little 6,000-word essay talking about values-based <laughs> capitalism, which was just code for massive government control and ESG policies, um, I think Australians should be worried um, that this socialist left faction is on the advance. But as I said, uh, Anthony Albanese will be doing the happy dance. Kayla... Richard Miles and Bill Shorten are, for all of their imperfections, much-needed handbrakes on a more radical Labor agenda. And as much as it would be fun to watch Labor tear itself apart, mm. the consequences of this would be really concerning. Will Labor's left have the good sense not to overreach because of this newfound power? Well, Amanda, I don't think they'll be able to control themselves. Uh, similar to what Daisy said, I think the socialists, that, you know, in the party, they're running it at the moment, and if they've got the numbers and they've got the power to do so, then they'll boldly and confidently usher in their progressive agenda. Yeah, at least with the Labor right people, there are moments when the Coalition and Labor right people can get on the same page about a few things and just get stuff done in the interest of Australians. That's not really possible with the extreme ideological types in that hard left. 